A very good morning and Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. Seek the soul that truth lies within. Supreme God Father today on 12th of May is talking to us about happiness. What is true happiness? Is it about accumulating things? Is it about having people acclaim your position or post or uh, giving you fame and name? What exactly is happiness? Is it being connected within and being content even without having anything in your life because that is soul consciousness what does the soul need and what does the body need there are two different aspects so if you think of yourself as a body you need a lot of things desires are endless if you think of yourself as a soul then you just need to be connected to the supreme source that is the supreme being the supreme father the supreme creator and that is what brings happiness and contentment within so let's see what does baba have to say here Supreme Father says, May you make your mind and intellect powerful. So the mind and intellect, they are not part of this world. So the mind and intellect are the part of the supreme abode. That means, we souls when we are staying over there, our mind and our intellect and our habits were there with us within the soul itself. So I am a soul, you are a soul, you are a being, an incorporeal being, a non-physical entity in this physical body of yours. And you don't belong to this earth actually. You're just here for a certain period of time. I'm here for a certain period of time. And we have come here to play our part. So this part can be played by thinking that everything belongs to me and I desire more and I want more and more things of this world to be happy. Or I can think that I don't belong to this world. Whatsoever is there on me, I'm content with it. I've got nothing to compare myself with anybody. And I've got nothing thing and nobody to compete with in this world to attain more and more in my life so God says one of the basic aspects of happiness is that may you make your mind and intellect powerful with the nourishment of happiness and become unshakable and immovable so how do we do that we are visitors on this earth as souls in our particular bodies imagine this body is not yours this body is also attained from the five elemental earth and the other elements on this earth. So we say this is my body and sometimes we have got ego about the beauty of this body or attainments of this physical body or things which we put on onto this body. We got ego of that. God says that doesn't belong to you my child. So all the three, all the three aspects, mind, intellect and habits, if they are stuck to this body, bodily attainments, bodily world, or the physical world, then happiness is limited. Because this earth is limited, God is saying, go beyond this. Go beyond the thinking that this body is mine, the things connected to this body are mine. Then contentment can be a part of your light and life and happiness can be a part of our life. So this is a practice. It's a meditative practice. Every day we remind ourselves that this is not my body. I'm just using this body and I'm using this body to do karmas and all the name, fame, money, whichever comes to me is of this earth. It doesn't belong to me. It's it's a title onto the action which I've done and it doesn't define me because I'll be limited with that definition. Somebody may call you as somebody who's a nice, good engineer, good doctor, good lawyer, but that doesn't define me. I'm just acting that act out and I can act some other act out also nicely. So God says that doesn't define you. You are an unlimited being. You are somebody who is connected to not just one field. You have got unlimited fields to explore. So do I feel like that? Or do I get attached to a certain aspect and I want and I desire that name, that fame, that accolade from people so as to make me happy? Ask yourself this question. So if that is the case, then the happiness will also be limited because we are all connected or attached to those limitations which God wants us to come out of for. So God says, what do you do then? You say, Va Baba Va or Va God or Va Godfather or Va Supreme Being Va. Va my fortune. So great is my fortune. Va. Constantly sing the song of happiness because once you get to know that you are a being, an energy, a soul, you can get connected to the supreme energy, the supreme being, the supreme soul, who is a source of happiness. Worldly things are not a source of happiness. 
which we have actually by default thought of it as that these are the source of happiness if i'm moving ahead in life if i'm moving or progressing ahead in life on a material level then i i am happy but if i get stuck somewhere blame complain and unhappiness so god says happiness is the greatest nourishment there is no other nourishment like that of happiness those who he eat the nourishment of happiness each day remain constantly healthy now i can eat the nourishment of happiness if i am financially progressing ahead if i am getting promotions if i am getting my business going well and if people are coming and they buying my products i am very happy as a business person but suddenly if something like that stops where does the happiness go see we are talking about unlimited happiness god is unlimited and this worldly happiness is limited both of them can be happiness but one is a limited dose and one is an unlimited dose of happiness thing is question is to which dose do we want to be attached to brahma kumari teaches us to get attached to the unlimited dose and still have these limited things around us but not to be expecting any happiness out of them or these attainments that is what we learn in brahma kumari is how to take out our attachment to these limited worldly happinesses and move to unlimited happiness then god says they never become weak therefore make your mind and intellect strong with the nourishment of happiness and your stage will become powerful now we can attach our mind and intellect to limited happiness or we can attach our mind and intellect to unlimited happiness those who have such a powerful stage will remain constantly unshakable and immovable or otherwise if we gain something in profit if we move ahead in life and we buy a thing or buy a property or let's say buy jewelry buy a car buy a house have a kid in a house and we feel that that is unlimited happiness god says sorry some day or the other those same things which you are dependent upon happiness for will disappoint you and the unhappiness will set in so get connected to the unlimited happiness how do you do that you are most welcome to brahma kumari's godly spiritual university in your own city somewhere go ahead and attend the 7 day course and understand this in details with this om shanti